Hey yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I am back out of the garage. Uh, in case anyone still cared, that's glove nine. And I used glove 10 inside to get the salmon prepared. Okay, salmon is ready. So now my smoker temperature is sitting right at 250 degrees, which is perfect. We're just slightly above 250 degrees. And uh, it is time for me to get my salmon into the smoker and I'm going to take the brisket and the pork shoulder out and bring them in inside the house. I'm gonna bump the temperature up on them a little bit and finish them in the oven. No need for them to stay out here in the cold. All right, well, in the smoker, I'm gonna wrap them up in some foil pans, okay? We talked about foil pans in the container video. If you haven't already, please do check that out. And um, what else? That's it. I'm just gonna get them wrapped up, covered, and then take them in uh, inside, and then I will finish them in the oven. This is 11, this is 12. smoker ready to put the uh, salmon in. All I'm gonna do is get the foil laid out. So I have my fork, my salmon, and I'm going to lay it out. This is uh, uh, this is, I think this is 12 and 13. If it's not 12 and 13, it's 13 and 14. I'm just gonna lay the salmon out on foil. I think I've told you guys before, salmon is pretty much the only thing that I put on aluminum foil, and that's just to help me uh, get be able to pick the salmon up. I'm gonna center it more. And uh, I can tell it's the center because this shelf has a center line. Um, it, having the foil in the um, smoker just helps me be able to pick up the salmon. I can pick up this whole sheet of foil and transport it that way. I usually don't ever cook with foil or on foil aside of, uh, from if I'm gonna be making a tent of something, like uh, I'll steam some asparagus or maybe some shrimp. Other than that, um, it's only for fish so that I can pick it up and move it with ease. All right, so I'm back out at the smoker and I forgot the last couple of times, so I didn't even wanna remind me to update you on my step count. I'm at 8,830 steps, and I still have my salmon to finish. I do need to take the chicken inside of the house. I left it out here um, and had it in the warmer warming box uh, so it could stay warm. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that pulled apart while it's still warm. 
and I need to add some uh, fuel to the fire because my temperatures are a little lower than I'd like them to be. So let's go ahead and get the uh, fire stoked. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for, the salmon is done. So I'm gonna get the salmon taken out of the uh, smoker. 9,321 steps. So I'm gonna get the salmon taken out of the smoker. I'm gonna put it in, uh, I have a foil pan behind the camera and I'm gonna get it in the house. I'm going to uh, lay the salmon pieces, one on top of the other, kind of staggered, and then I'm gonna put it in the Cambro and uh, it'll hang out until I'm ready to go to the event this afternoon. So I'm done in the garage. Yes, it's hot. I used uh, two gloves in the house <laughs> while pulling the chicken. And then here's another two gloves. I think I'm on, I think this is 16 and 17. I don't know. I don't know. I can, well, let's try. Track. Plus count. count. I opened up the firebox or the dampers in the smoker. And I'm just going to let the uh, smoker run away right now and let it self clean pretty much. And I will, let's see. Nope, there's still wood in there. I'm going to let it clean itself and uh, I'm headed back inside the house. Okay, so I am back inside the house and I've been inside the house for a while. You can kind of hear the, uh, the oven going behind me. Let's check the steps. 10,908. But the reason why I wanted to talk to you is because pork shoulder's finished. Let me show you the pork shoulder. All right, so there you saw my pork shoulder. And uh, just like I said, Goodness, if you guys could smell my kitchen right now, this pork shoulder looks absolutely amazing. Smells great, looks great, feels great. I'm gonna let it rest for about an hour and then I'm gonna pull it apart. I am still on schedule for my delivery time of uh, 5.15, 5.30 and uh, everything is good to go. My brisket should be finishing up in a few moments and as soon as that comes out, I'll pull it out and I'll show you guys that too. Pro tip. Before I forget, I wanted to tell you, uh, usually or typically whenever I pull out a pork shoulder, I uh, just let it rest. I leave the juices, um, the fat, and the au jus, more or less for the pork shoulder. I leave it in the pan. But today, because of the fact that I'm actually slightly pressed for time, I wanna make sure it is cool. Well, not cools really, but cools down some. I took the liquid that usually, you can see the level where the liquid was. I took the liquid out uh, to promote this cooling faster. Okay, so here is, uh, <clears throat> since you guys suffered through this entire video, I'll show you something I don't show you guys very often. And that is uh, what the brisket looks like fresh out now this can be fresh out of the smoker in my case today uh it was fresh out of the oven because i uh i told you guys that i had gone ahead and brought this inside of the house to help speed up the cook but this is uh this is textbook right here. This is perfect. Okay.
decent amount of bark. Having the, the brisket inside of the foil, it softens up the bark just a, a bit. I don't like to break my teeth off and it makes slicing a lot easier and not a lot nicer and it makes it uh, slice up a lot prettier. I'm gonna take a picture for the gram. enjoyed this uh, intimate look into how I do what I do I showed you how I wake up first thing in the morning how long it takes me to get my fire going how I load the smoker up come back on the inside and finish seasoning and get any other additional meats loaded into the smoker uh, of course you saw how to get the fire going you're also or you also saw maintaining the fire throughout the day how many steps 11,192 from the time i woke up this morning until now and i'm not even done yet because i still have to uh, pull the pork apart i still have to slice up the brisket and then i still have to deliver it so that'll be the next piece but i wanted to kind of give you guys a checkpoint as of what's going on right now so see y'all in a bit all right, so I would have loved to have been able to film a little more of me actually taking the food that I had into, into the gentleman's house who ordered the food for today. <clears throat> so what the event was, this guy plays in a Irish folk band or Irish folk, folk band. I believe it's through his church maybe. Any, anyway, this is the third year that he's had me cater his like he has a little reception more or less like a little gathering at his house after the show so he probably this year he told me he was gonna have like 30 40 people so he ordered a whole brisket 12 pounds of pork shoulder 12 pounds of pulled chicken and then two salmon fillets that was what i cooked today final check on my steps i'm at 14,955. so by the time i actually make it upstairs into my bed which is what I'm about to do after I make myself a, a drink. Is uh, I'll be at 15,000 steps. So, you know, this is one of those things that's not for the faint of heart. I walk back and forth between my house and my garage a lot. Today was a light day because of the fact that I was only cooking brisket, pork shoulder, chicken, and salmon. If I were cooking multiple briskets and I had to transport them back and forth uh, when they finished at different times and I had to go down to the smoker a few different times, that I think the highest I've had has probably been closer to 20,000 as far as steps for a particular day That's that I've tracked. But anyway, nonetheless, thank you as always for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Uh, if you like what you saw or if you learned something, do me a solid, leave a thumbs up down below. And I'll see you next time.